Hello, in this video I will show you how to get the color of film presets on your phone. I hope you have already seen the previous video about color calibration and have already guessed what I'm going to do. For that, I need a smartphone with manual camera mode, color target, 3D LUT creator, and 3D LUT mobile app. Also, I need a Fuji film camera. For this video, I used a Fuji Film X-T2 with kit lens. So, the idea for this time is the following. I shot a checker on my phone with specific white balance, and then I shot the checker with different Fujifilm presets on my X-T2. Having taken checker's pictures under the same conditions, I can match the colors of the phone's photos to the film presets, and then upload them to LUT Cloud and use in 3D LUT Mobile. It was a cloudy day. I shot on the key near Mordovia Arena Stadium. I placed the checker directly onto the ground. It is usually assumed that a sunny day corresponds to 5500 Kelvin. When shooting, the cloudiness was not heavier, so I could choose 6000 Kelvin, but the Fuji camera does not have this value. The nearest is 5900, so I chose that. In order to not overexpose the checker, I made the correction of the exposure minus 0.6 stop. In addition to the checker, I shot the stadium itself with the same settings. This is going to be my reference picture. Then, I shot the checker on my Fuji in different modes of film emulation. Briefly about the settings. White balance was manual, set at 5900 Kelvin. Shot in JPEG because JPEGs have the native color from Fuji. The rest of the color, light and shadow settings are set to zero. The exposure is manual so that all checkers are captured equally. Also, I photographed the stadium itself to get the reference images with the same presets. So, the photos are loaded into the computer. Now it's time for 3D LUT Creator. I load the first color target from the Fuji camera. I place the grid on top of the checker. Now I choose Save in the target's drop-down list. That is, I save the color of this checker as the reference point. I will do the same for other targets. As a result, I get color measurements on four color targets, shot with different film presets with my Fuji Film X-T2. Now, I load the checker from the phone. I choose Color Chart Grid Tool and place the grid over my target. I'm loading my reference colors instead of color data from X-Ray. I'm going to match phone colors to Fuji. I choose Curves plus 3D LUT and click Match. This is before and after. It's time to compare reference images. I load a photo of the stadium from the phone. As a reference, I load a photo from my X-T2 taken with a film preset. Both images look very similar. This is before and after. I'm going to upload this LUT to the cloud. I will do the same procedure with other presets. This is how the Velvia preset looks. I load it into the cloud. This is what the Ostia preset looks like. I will send it into the cloud. Here remains the last preset called Classic Chrome. I load photo from the phone and from Fuji. This is before and after. I will send the preset into the cloud. Now, let's see how my presets work in the phone. I run 3D LUT Mobile and choose the photo with the stadium. On the LUT tab, I open my personal folder. Here they are. This is how the photo looks with the Provia preset. Here is Velvia, Astia, and this is Classic Chrome. Have you ever dreamed that you could get any color you want on your phone? 3D LUT Creator and 3D LUT Mobile make this possible. I will show you how these presets work with another photo. For example, this one. It was shot on a cloudy day with a similar white balance. I also made a series of similar presets for a sunny day, white balance of 5500 Kelvin. I'll show you how they work. These presets are quite universal, so if this video on YouTube gets 100 likes, I'll provide free access to them in 3D LUT Mobile. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.